Okay, so we're doing uh, problem one of practice test two here. Okay, this is our problem. Okay, uh, 17 January, uh, we got an 0730 fix, okay, which is here. We're steaming at 116 at 17 knots. Oh, and then they tell us that LAN occurs at 1152. Okay, so um, that's good. Uh, that's good to know. So we'll be in this general vicinity. This is several hours later, but... Um, because they give us time of LAN, then they're asking us to, what is our latitude? Um, so we're going to be able to take this 1152 and convert that to uh, that local time, convert it to GMT. And then we're going to look up the declination of the sun. Um, and then we'll have to plug it into a formula and then we'll get our latitude. But here's, uh, here's a tricky thing, okay? Um, they're not asking us for a latitude at 1152. They're asking us for our, our latitude at noon, which is eight minutes later. So there's going to be a little advance at the end. We don't need to do an advance in the beginning on this problem, but we will need to do an advance at the end. Okay, so uh, let's go. Okay, so we're going to collect some information here. Okay, uh, as usual, we want to know uh, some basic information like what's the date, body. Okay, I'll collect the latitude, the longitude. I want the zone time the zone description, and then I want GMT, okay? Once I have GMT, then I'm gonna calculate the declination. So I'm gonna go in the declination, I'm gonna do my D factor, which is gonna be plus or minus, and I'll get, uh, from the end of that, I'll get my D, okay? Now, I'm also gonna need a formula, okay? I don't know what formula I'm gonna need yet, um, but um, uh, I'll figure that out after I get my declination, all right? Um, but uh, for sure, for sure, my formula is going to involve the zenith distance, okay? So ZD is 90 minus HO. So they've given me an HO over here. So I'm going to do um, uh, 90 minus HO. That's going to give me ZD. I'm going to have to do that. And then I'm going to need to do my little formula, okay? Uh, and then I'm going to do it, need to do a little advance at the end. So uh, I'll show you how I get that formula after we get the declination. So what's our date? Okay, it's 17 January, and our body is the sun. So what's my latitude? Well, technically, uh, I would have to, if I really wanted to be exact, I'd have to advance uh, my 0730 to 1152, but it turns out for this problem, I just need a ballpark idea. I'm around 22, 26. I'll be going further south for a couple of hours, so it'll be more than that. But right now, I can just say I'm about like, I don't know, somewhere between, I'm like 20. 230 south okay i don't have to be uh i'm not i don't need to do an advance at this point so this is just going to be generally good enough because i'm going to need this for my formula and what's my longitude well you know right now it's 152 17 east of course i'm going to be going more east so that should be getting larger but this is good enough for now okay so now because i'm going to calculate my latitude at lan so that's uh zone time is 1152 and my zone description, okay, if I take 152, 17, I divide it by 15, my zone description is going to end up being minus 10, okay? So what's my GMT? It's 0152, and it's still 17 January. So now I'm going to look up the declination of the sun, okay? So I come in here, all right, and I've got uh, 17 uh, January. Here's 17 January. And I'm going to look up, what else I was going to look up? It's 17 January, 0152, okay? So uh, here's 01, and uh, here's 02. So it's uh, south 20, uh, 47.4. So it's south 20, 47.4, south 20, 47.4. And the D factor is down at the bottom of the page. The D factor is 0.5, okay? D factor is 0.5, and by inspection, I can see that D is getting 47.9, 47. It's getting smaller. That makes sense for that time of year. Okay, uh, great. All right, so uh, I'm going to subtract that correction. Now I go to the back of the book. I got to go to 52 minutes. All right, so I go back here. I find 52. I get my D factor. Let me take this thing off here. Okay, so my V or D, uh, it was 0.5, so the correction is 0.4, all right, so it's 0.4, 
and that is going to be uh, minus. So when I do that, I should get my declination to south 20, 47.0. Okay, great. So that's good. Now, they gave me the HO. So uh, I'm going to subtract 87.54 from 90. I'm just going to rewrite the 90 to make it easy for me to do the math with my pencil. So 90 is 89 degrees uh, and uh, 60 minutes. So now I can go 87.54.2. Now, uh, um, if you want to use a calculator, uh, uh, I could also have made this 89.59.10. Now I can really do the math easy. 87.54.2. 2 from 10 is 8. 4 from 9 is 5. That's 0. That's 2. So my ZD is 2 degrees, uh, 5.8. Okay, great. Now, I have my deck, I have my ZD. Now I need to combine them. So to combine them, I need to, uh, if I'm gonna derive this myself, there's a couple different ways I can draw a picture. But what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna sort of draw a picture of looking at the Earth from space. And I'm looking at the equator, and here's the North Pole, and here's the, here's the, not, here's the South Pole. So my latitude is around 2230 South, so I can do this, that's me, okay, that's me. And the sun's declination is like around 20. So that's something like this. So this is the sun. So, you know, at LAN, we're both on the same meridian. So this is, this is me. Okay. And uh, so we could say this is me and this is the sun. Okay. Great. So now what I want to do is here's the equator. So that means that this is declination. The angle from the equator to the body is declination. And the angle from me to the body, that is ZD. And what I want is I want the latitude, which is from the equator to me. So I want this angle. I have this angle and this angle. What am I going to do with them? I'm going to add declination in ZD. So, so my formula is going to be latitude is ZD plus dec. Okay. So here's my ZD. Here's my dec. I got to add those two. So lat is going to be ZD 205.8 plus 2047. 2047. So that's going to become 0. 0.8. And uh, 7 and 5 is 13. 3, 1. And that's 5. And that's 2253. And that's south. Okay. So that is my. Uh, oh, I think I made a little mistake in there. Let me just fix. Let me just check that math. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Here is my mistake. Here, uh, seven and five is twelve, not uh, not thirteen. <laughs> I'm shooting this kind of late at night. I'm a little bit fatigued here. So it should be um, uh, uh, twenty fifty two point eight south. So that's the latitude. Okay, but that's the latitude at eleven fifty two. Okay, eleven fifty two. So. Um, you know, if I was to go, so, uh, south, 22, 52.8. So here's 22. Uh, if we're in south latitudes, all right, uh, I would make this 23. So, uh, here's my triangle. So again, I'm south 22.58, which is almost south 23, uh, uh, south 53, 22.53. So 35, 40, 45, 50, 51, 52, 53. That's basically it right there, okay? All right, so let me slide this up a little bit here. So that was 50, 55, 53-ish is right around here. All right, and I go like this, and, okay? So my this is my latitude here, okay? So this is my uh, LAN at 1152. But the thing is, the thing is, is that they want my latitude at noon, okay? So, uh, uh, this is uh, 1152, so I got to go to noon. So that is another eight minutes. Okay, so you can do rate times time equals distance. What's the speed I'm going? I'm going 17 knots. I'm going to use the six minute rule though. Six minutes, it, for every six minutes, I'll go one point. I just move the decimal over 1.7. So every six minutes, I'll go 1.7. So in six minutes, I'll go 1.7, and now I have two minutes left over. Well, two minutes is a third of six minutes, so it's a third of 1.7. So now I can just do this really quickly over here. Let me turn this on. Okay, clear. 1.7 times 1.3, 
and it gives me 2.21 nautical miles. So I have to go 2.21 nautical miles. And what direction am I going? I'm going 2.1 nautical miles in 116. So now I take this over here, and I come back over here, and I get this lined up, and I can just choose any spot along here. All right, so first let me get my 116, okay? So here's 116 here. That's great, okay? And now I can just choose any spot on the line that I want. I can come over here. I'm just going to choose this spot because it's nice and clear. So I'm going to head in that direction. And uh, how far did I go? Well, I'm going to go 2.1 nautical miles. So now, okay, or 2.2. What did I calculate? I think I calculated 2.2 nautical miles. So now I come over here. So uh, I'm going to go along that distance. Now my dividers can't actually measure 2.2 uh, miles. This is actually almost, that's three and a half miles. So I'm going to have to kind of just eyeball this a little bit. So I'm going to say that uh, this is my distance. Well, that's about 2.2 miles. Okay, great. So now I got to find that latitude. So it's going to be slightly more south. Uh, my latitude was uh, 52.8. So I'm going to be in the 53s here probably or 54. But I can put my pencil down right there. Okay. And I can uh, put my pencil down there. And I can come over here and get that lined up. And I'm going to bring this over here and it looks to me like my latitude is going to be uh 22 30 35 40 45 50 looks like it's 53 and a half 54 okay so 53 and a half 54 south uh and here it is right here could be uh it looks like oh sorry about that these are both the same answer so it would be a or b okay and that's the answer to that problem